Hey everyone, Savo here and in this video we are going to create a simple screen camera shake in Unity. Let's jump into it. As you can see, I'm using the same scene as in our last parallax effect video. If you want to check that out, I will have the link in the description. The only new thing I added is the shake button in the middle of the screen which will in a minute handle the shake effect of the camera. Now to start creating the effect, click on your camera and in the animation window create a new animation. Always remember when starting animating to click on the red record button. In your animation timeline set your marker at 0.05 seconds and simply decrease the size of your camera. The camera size should only be decreased slightly, that means that from 5 I'm going to use 4.8. Now to close the animation loop set your marker at 0.1 seconds and reset the camera size to default 5. And that's it, when clicking on the play button you already see the shake effect we are going to use. After that we need to jump into the animator window and create a new empty state which will be the default state of the camera. Next use a transition and connect the new default state to the camera shake animation. When clicking on the transition arrow you see that we currently have no conditions. To create one go under parameters and click on this little plus icon. For our kind of animation we're going to need a trigger variable and just name it shake. After creating it go back to your transition arrow and add the new trigger variable to the conditions. Also under the settings menu make sure to disable the has exit time, fixed duration and set the transition duration to zero. With that options you will have a quick camera shake with no delay. Next create a new transition from the camera shake back to the default state. This one does not need any condition since it will be cancelled as soon as the camera shake animation is over. We only need to play around with the exit time or the transition duration until we find a great result. One way is to check your animation length time and use a number slightly less than that for the transition duration. Finally everything is set up and we are now ready to create the camera shake script. Inside of your script create a new public function that will be called when clicking on our button. We also need to have access to the animator component of our camera. Create a private animator type variable and assign its value inside of the start function using the get component animator. Now that we have access to the animator component we just need to set the trigger we created earlier inside of our public function. Just make sure that the name is exactly the same as in the animator conditions. And that's the only piece of code we are going to need, so simple. Save, close your script and back to Unity. First thing to do is to assign the new script to our camera as a new component. Now since we are using a button to call the shake effect, I am going to use the onClick event of the button that will call the public function of our camera. Let's test what we have done so far. As you can see we have achieved a double shake effect which looks very nice but not exactly what we wanted to do. To fix this go back to your animator window with the camera selected and click on the transition from the camera shake back to the default state. We can test to reset the transition duration to 0 and use for exit time the value of 1. With this settings you can see in the preview below that the new state which is the default one will be called after the camera shake has completed one loop of animation. Now you see that our camera shake is finally as expected. Of course instead of having just a button you can call the camera shake function from wherever you want. For example in my game Spartup I'm using the same effect whenever I'm attacking a monster, a boss or destroying some random object. Before you leave I want to announce that Spartup is finally available for pre-registration on Play Store. You can visit my website or just click on the link in the description to open up the pre-registration page of the game. Feel free to register and claim your rewards as soon as the game is officially released worldwide. If you enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ciao!